the sound of the bell still reverberating or a blackbird calling from a corner of the field, asking you to wake into this life or inviting you deeper to the one that waits. Either way takes courage. Either way we want you to be nothing but the self that is no self at all. Wants you to walk to a place where you find you already know how to give every last thing away. The approach that is also the meeting itself without any meeting at all. The radiance you have always carried with you as you walk both alone and completely accompanied in friendship by every corner of the world crying Alleluia. So with that, we can close our eyes if you haven't already. And a big exhale, it's just an Alleluia on the exhale, big exhale. Taking a few slow, long breaths like that, focusing on the ah on the exhale, letting it grow long and slow. And as you focus on that exhale, you can allow that exhale to first just exhale your face, letting go of your eyes and your jaw, your tongue, exhaling your face. And that big exhale, that big ah, that big alleluia can move down through your chest and your shoulders. Exhaling through your chest and your shoulders, out to your arms and your fingers. Breathing in and breathing out in ah. And then you can allow that big exhale, that long release to move into your belly and your hips. A long exhale of letting go. Hallelujah. Allowing that exhale to move into your legs and your feet. Long exhale of releasing and letting go. Hallelujah. A big ah. Then you can just do a big whole body. Hallelujah. Big breath in. And big, long exhale. Letting your whole body go, giving permission to your whole body to release, inviting an awe. And as we let go in this way, when we let go of tension or resisting, clinging, you may notice that there's some more spaciousness to feel. And so we're going to begin by just opening up to our senses, our senses that connect us to the world around us. So opening up your sense of sound. And breathing in, I'm aware that I'm hearing. Breathing out, I open to sound. 
Breathing in hearing. Breathing out sound. Then we can breathe in to hearing and breathing out an alleluia gratitude for the sound, opening to our sense of sound. Ah, on the exhale. And then we can also begin to open up our sense of touch, our skin that covers our body, even the inside of our mouth, the places where we make contact with touch. So noticing the sensation of touch where you touch the ground, where you touch the air, your own hands, on your own body. Breathing in, I'm aware of touch. Breathing out a big ah, alleluia to touch. So you can feel yourself sensing with your skin, with your fingers, with your feet. Breathing in, I'm aware of touch. Breathing out a big ah, hallelujah, gratitude for touch. We open to it. Breathing in touch. Breathing out, open. And we can also bring our awareness to our sense of sight, even with our eyes closed, the light that we can see. Breathing in, I am aware of my sight. And breathing out, opening to the sight. And breathing in aware. Breathing out a big ah, a big alleluia to your sight. Sight open. And so your senses are open, aware of the world around you. But we can also bring in another sense, which is our sense of each other, our interpersonal sense, our sense of interbeing. 
So breathing in, we can be aware of each other in this space. And breathing out, we can open to each other in this space, feeling our interpersonal sense. Breathing in, I'm aware of all of you. And breathing out, alleluia, a big ah. And we can bring this awareness that expands us to the outside world, also to expand our inner world. So we can bring our awareness to our emotional sense, the feelings that are inside our body right now. Breathing in, I'm aware of my feelings. Breathing out, I open to my feelings. Breathing in feelings. Breathing out a big ah, a big alleluia for feelings. feelings open And we can bring our awareness to our minds. Breathing in, I'm aware of my mind. Breathing out, I open my mind. Breathing in, mind. Breathing out a big ah, a big alleluia to your mind. Mind open. So we are aware of our open senses, our smell, our sight, our sound, our touch, our taste, opening our senses. We are aware of our open heart, our interpersonal sense, 
our interconnection. Open self. And we are aware of our open inner world, open to feelings, open to thoughts. And then we can become aware that we are the openness itself. We are the open space holding all of these experiences. And we'll sit for a few moments just in this open space, open to all of our experience, a big alleluia that we are. And you can breathe in and just breathe out in awe. If the words Alleluia don't set for you, you can use your own words of awe, of hamsa, of just a big exhale of an awe. What allows you to open and remain open? is what matters most. A big awe. Then it could be the awe, the A-W-E, awe, the awe of spaciousness, the awe of appreciation, compassion or gratitude, being in a space of awe seeing yourself with awe of all of these senses, inner senses, outer senses, interconnected senses. And you can drop the words themselves and just sit in whatever peaceful state resonates for you.
And then we can extend that openness, the opening of our heart to parts of ourselves that may feel hurt or scared, uncertain, closed off. May we be one with our own suffering, open-hearted, gentle, and kind. And we can extend this openness to each other in this space, people coming together. May we be one with each other suffering, open-hearted, gentle, and kind. And we can expand, extend this open-heartedness, this openness to the people in our close communities, our families, our schools, our workplaces. May I be one with your suffering, open-hearted, gentle, and kind. And then we can expand this open-heartedness to our towns, our country, the waterways, plants and animals, across the whole planet where there is so much suffering. May I be one with your suffering. May we remain open-hearted and gentle and kind. Emma Children writes, a much more interesting, kind, adventurous, and joyful approach to life is to begin to develop our curiosity, not caring whether the object of our inquisitiveness is bitter or sweet, to lead a life that goes beyond pettiness and prejudice, and always wanting to make sure that everything turns out on our own terms, to lead a more passionate, full, and delightful life than that. We must realize that we can endure a lot of pain and pleasure for the sake of finding out who we are and what this world is, how we tick, and how our world ticks, how the whole thing just is. If we're committed to comfort at any cost, as soon as we come up against the least edge of pain, we're going to run. We'll never know what's beyond that particular barrier or wall or fearful, fearful thing. And there's a common misunderstanding among all the human beings who have ever been born on the earth that the best way to live is to try and avoid pain and just try to get comfortable. You can see this even in the insects and animals and birds. All of us are the same.
And I like to close our meditations to our teachers, three bows, the three jewels. So we can start with our teacher. Thank you to Rick Hansen for creating the Sangha, the space. And what other teachers you want to bring into the space to say thank you to? You can take a bow. And we can thank each other, the Sangha, for sitting together, practicing together in meditation. You can take a bow. And then always a bow to yourself, your own inner wisdom, your own guidance, your true nature. Thank you to you to show, for showing up.